Good morning, good morning. Happy Monday. You get a view of everything that I said I was gonna do and didn't do. This morning, I have been finishing up any Christmas gift ideas that I have yet to order. I still have a few more that I need to order, but I busted a ton of those out. So it's felt like, it's weird. It's felt like a very productive day, but also not because I didn't get to do any of the home stuff that I wanted to do. And it's one o'clock and three o'clock creeps up so fast. We've got a couple things we've got to do um, for filming, just a couple pickups. And then I'll probably have to go pick up the kids from school. So won't have a ton of time to do. Honestly, what's probably gonna happen is the kids are gonna get TV time after school so I can bust out like one small task and then that way when I'm cooking dinner, I'll feel accomplished. Day three is Bougie Elf. Bougie Elf with a side of gimme hair bands. Favorite hair bands ever. It Cosmetics, you guys know, is my favorite foundation. Um, so I am doing It Cosmetics, um, the eye cream. I have not used this because I'm using Tatcha, but this has amazing reviews. This was the second requested, um, most requested for eye cream. It's a very good one. Um, next, we have this serum. I think this serum alone is like $50. It's an anti-aging um, primer serum. Um, so I've heard great things about that. Next, we have Hello Lashes, their volume mascara. Then we have a waterproof anti-aging gel eyeliner. Then we have a, a cosmetics brush. These bad boys are not cheap even by themselves. It has their It, get it, It Cosmetics brightening blush. And then you get three of their lipsticks, their high pigment um, moisturizing lipstick. Okay, I found out actually what I'm gonna be doing when the kids get home from school, because I have to go pick them up in like 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna let them do their TV or computer time um, so I can wrap some of their gifts. I have been meaning to show you guys some Christmas gifts if you guys need some quick Amazon, like kind of add-on items, um, and I just keep forgetting to do it. So I've mentioned this like two times. This is the ultimate arts and crafts library. It has two levels of just like things if you're a person, if you're a kid, or your person, your kid is a crafter, like Berkeley, a crafter at heart. Berkeley is also getting this um, wooden set of markers and pencils, and it's got like oil, um, what is it called, pastels, I think, the crowns that are a little bit greasier. Um, she loves, loves, loves. All she does is craft. But she doesn't like Barbies, she doesn't like baby dolls, um, so she got a lot of crafting stuff. Berkeley got herself a racket book. Um, and then, I, I got this little camera and it kind of feels like garbage, to be completely honest. But now that I'm in it, it's kind of cool. How do you push enter? Oh, shoot. That's a real camera. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. This is like a real video camera. This is not expensive either. This is pretty dang cool. It's a video recorder or a camera. And it has, like, is this like a little S? SD card that comes with it and a thumb drive. Everything feels pretty like cheap. I'm not gonna lie, um, but I'm I'm pretty impressed by it that it has like so many modes. Let me see. It has filters. What the heck? Okay, I'm not gonna hate on it. I'm gonna wrap it. I'm gonna wrap it and give it. Okay, so this is Vivian's one and only gift as of right now. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, this child has all of Berkeley and Vaughn's old toys. She really doesn't need anything. So we're just throwing a couple gifts at her this year. Um, and this is one of them. And this is an aqua mat. And you fill these little markers with water. And then you color on the mat. And it shows color. And then when it dries, it goes back to white. So it's reusable. And it feels like markers to the kid. But they're not getting it all over the place. And it comes with little stencils, foam little cutouts. It's really cute. That's literally all I have for poor Viv. So we're honestly not going to spend a lot. We've even considered, they're going to judge me so hard, we've even considered taking old toys that I've kept away in the closet for a while and rewrapping them. So Mike and I have 
made the decision that we are not buying anything small and tiny. No little trinket toys to step on. So the only tiny things we are doing, it's kind of hard to do the no tiny rule with Berkeley because she is a crafter and she's got all those tiny supplies. Vaughn's getting Nerf gun bullets in his stocking and then that's it. That's, um, nope, I'm a hypocrite. Berkeley's also getting, so remember LOL dolls? Well, apparently those are out, at least in our house. They are not in. Um, the new thing are these little tea bag people. So it's a tea bag and you put it in water and the tea bag dissolves and then out is birthed a child from the tea bag. Um, that's real. That's a real thing. I think they're called itty bitty pretties. I'll link them here if I can find them. I saw them at Target and she's getting one in her stocking and it's just another one of those like open it up and it's like a surprise doll where it's like cool for two minutes and then it's gone. But it's like, they're like four bucks. So yeah, Berkeley's getting the tea bag kids and then Vaughn's getting the Nerf guns. But other than that, and then all the endless craft pom-poms, but other than that, <laughs> they're only getting bigger, bigger items. absolutely hilarious she's more of like a personal home account um she and her kids and her family are just absolutely funny just to watch she posts really great things and really reviews um and i totally enjoy her and Babe, it's only been eight minutes, but 70% of people think I could bake my own bread. I'm well, gonna bake my own bread. That, may, that means 80% of people are wrong, because there's another 10% of people that are saying yes, but they really mean no. And like 70% of the people probably said yes, but actually mean yes. And the other 23% are saying maybe, but they don't know you that well. So if you really think about, and there's honestly about at least 23 people in that entire group that are undecided on what they would <laughs> I can't stand you. <laughs> That's it. Tomorrow I'm going to go get ingredients. I'm going to make my own gluten-free, dairy-free bread. Wait, is there dairy in bread? Probably not. So you had a milk? That doesn't milk matter. Bread? Milk bread? I mean, if you're making like a pastry Oh my gosh, bread, this is where I'm... I'm going to make my own bread. It's going to be the best bread we've ever had. Question, do I need bread maker or... <laughs> Do I need a bread maker? Can I make bread in the oven? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm yeah, I'm just gonna make it in the oven. Your bread maker's called an oven and a bread pan. I don't have a bread pan. Also, did you guys hear what this jerk said? He said you guys don't even know me that well. You hear what what said? You said they don't even know me. That's so I don't know you. Do I even know you? Do you even know me? Do you even do you even know me? It's a good game, by the way. We need to play. 